Hey everybody, Zeke back with some Path of Exile for you guys. I think this time we're going to take on the 100 Uber Uber Elder Challenge. So I've got a set here, I just want to test it real quick to see if I can even do this. I've got a cold flask with the mage blood on, so I think I should be fine. But my build is a little bit squishy. Uh, reasons you would do this, realistically, the, uh, the two rings here are like 5c each, so we're discounting those. Indigon's not worth anything, so who cares? Call of the Void's about 40c. Um, the rest of this isn't worth very much. Sublime Visions unidentified are about 17 divines right now. People are going for those couple of high, high-end mods. I think it's a hatred mod. Guarantees Brittle is worth like 80, 90, 100. Maybe even more divines, but I don't think we're going to gamble it unless I'm just feeling real saucy at the end. I think we'll just sell them for 17 divines each to sustain. The gloves are like 35. This Reliquary key isn't going to drop, but if it did, it's like 8 divines. Uh, feared invitations aren't worth anything at the moment. Now, Watcher's Eyes. Last I checked, unidentified Watcher's Eyes with three mods are about four divines. So our main sustain is going to be coming from that because it's a 35 flat chance of a, of a Watcher's Eye dropping. So you can see here they've got 25 to 35. The 35 is if you take the Atlas passive, which you actually have no choice but to take if you want to do Uber Uber. It's this one right here, just plus 10 flat chance is really strong. Other than that, the gulf's worth like 40 chaos or something like that for the potential for a massive thread of hope or maybe even a large. Orbs of Dominance looks like 10% roughly are about a divine apiece right now too. So like one in every 10 will, will pay for the map at least, just about. Now, these fragment sets are roughly 100, or 210, 220 chaos right now. So more than a divine each run here. I've got enough to probably fund this, but it's going to bottom me out. So we'll see how I'm looking towards the halfway point here and if i have to sell some stuff to sustain i will but maybe i can squeeze this anyway let's go ahead and run one just to make sure that it's even possible for me oh i hope i uh hope i specced into this i did okay I'm not up to that just yet. um no means no all right so i'll probably die a little bit if I can just squeeze the victory here, I'll just improve at this as I'm farming these. So, you know, not a huge problem if I'm if I'm dying a lot. But yeah, I'm not very comfortable with this fight yet. Let's see if we can see if we can big dodge everything. Uh, I should take that awakened sextant deal, but we're not going to right now. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not as comfortable with this fight as I am with Maven, but that's okay. We'll figure this out. Uh, yeah, yeah, we just gotta kill these portals or something, right? The speed helps, for sure. Oh, there's the first one. Okay, so it's not totally unmanageable. Since this one doesn't count, I'm hoping anything drops here to help us sustain. But if it doesn't, that's fine. Ooh, we got to be careful, though. There's just a lot going on in here is the only problem. Okay, so this isn't too scary. We just stay in here in the center, kill these mobs. I imagine by the end of this, I'll be able to do this in my sleep. But for now, I'm actually having to pay a fair amount of attention. Let's see if we can't just keep these degen balls off the field for a minute. Yeah, yeah, I know. Gaze, gaze, gaze. I could put on an onslaught flask, maybe, to amp my damage up a little bit. But I think this is probably fine. It's just taking a minute. Ooh, this thing again. Big dodge, big dodge. Nope. Ow. Let's see if we can't just nuke him. Yeah. 
This would probably be a lot faster on a miner. Since I could just phase these guys before they do all this stuff. I think. Once again, I just don't really know this fight very well. I'm not up to that just yet. Waiting for the gaze. There's the gaze. Alright, he should call any second here. Or not. Oh, that's brutal. Holy moly. This is terrible. Can I leech? Can I leech? I can leech. We're going to just dash through that. This fight is a mess. Good lord. Alright, give us something. Kill Blood Rage. Alright, cool. Well, that probably gives us the currency we need to guarantee buying a hundred of them. I think I might have been a couple of divines shy a minute ago. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. I'll come back in once I have the 100 set spot, which could take a few hours, and then we will go ahead and get this guy started. I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, gamers. So we finally got our 100 here. I actually stopped and did the entire 100 shaper kill video to get some of this, just because it was such a pain to buy these individually. So it's been a few days. I just went back and rewatched the intro I recorded. It sounds a lot like I'm sandbagging. I really have only done that uber uber fight one time prior to that just to get the challenge out of the way. And before that, like I've never even really bothered with uber elder. I fought regular elder a lot and now I've done a lot of shaper, but I'm really not that comfortable with the fight. The mage blood and the cold flask are kind of carrying me through it. Um, that's pretty much it. I do want to make a quick correction. The gulf, the div card that I commented on as one of the drops, it cannot drop a massive thread of hope. So, little nugget of information for you, it is not able to drop a massive thread. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. It might take me a couple of days to do this fight. I don't know. I've got to do a couple of things in between. But yeah, stay tuned. Alright, guys. We have downed 100 out of 100 uber uber elders. That fight is fantastic. It's so rewarding to get good at the mechanics on it. I'll probably end up making a boss guide video on it even. There's just so many little things you can do to shave seconds off. I got what was already a fast fight down to like two, two and a half minutes tops for the majority of my clean runs, but it does require you to pay attention to make sure that you're maximizing your damage windows to keep it at that time. We're going to just call it three minutes though, since that's roughly what it was when I clocked it near the start of my runs and do our profit per hour analysis off of that. Overall, we made a profit. I don't know how much of a profit, but... I'm thinking we probably broke 10 divines an hour at least. I'll let you guys know in a minute once I've had a chance to go through and make a spreadsheet for you. So once again, I will see you in a moment. Alright guys, we're back with a nice little spreadsheet. And I've sold the majority of the things that I wanted to sell. So we've gotten 34 of the 35 watcher's eyes you would expect. They sell for 4 divines apiece. In bulk, you could realistically sell these for more like 4.2. But I was in a hurry to just try to get this all done. We got 9 Call of the Void, 21 Feared Invitations, 9 of the expected 10 Orbs of Dominance, only 2 of the expected 4 Sublime Visions again. So now over 200 Shaper Kills, I've only gotten 4 of the expected 8, so my luck's taken a really funky turn. We know that we should be getting 4 because it's a 4% drop rate. This is from crowdsource data, but it sounds like they've done enough data collection to come to that loosely 4%. So... I don't know what's going on there, but hopefully it turns around. And we did get four of the gulf of the expected three. They're 45 chaos apiece. We got a shield bearer, which is really nice. That's the squire card that drops exclusively from elder. I left it in because I think there's a reasonable chance you get one over the course of killing the elder a hundred times. 15 assorted bases. I just valued them at 10 C apiece. Now, there were a lot more bases than this. This is what I have left. I've already sold a ton. A lot of these are worth more like 20 chaos, but... In the interest of fairness and just putting something here to acknowledge the fact that bases do drop, we're just calling it 150C. Whatever. We also got 19 marks of the Shaper, 36 marks of the Elder. We're leaving those at 5C apiece, even though I went through and corrupted. We also excluded this really good Indigon, and we excluded the Perfect Rolled in Presence here. This has Ellie Weakness and Flammability. It's the only version of this amulet that's worth a bunch, and a bunch it is. So, it is what it is. We'll keep it out of the profit analysis. So we're looking at a total cost of 24,000 chaos. That's because I spent 120 divines on 100 sets. I did buy them relatively slowly over the course of about 
several hours and you know that I ran the shaper first to try to fill in some of the fragments of shape, fragments of knowledge, I just priced those fairly based on singles to bring us to a total of 120 divines spent to run this 100 times. Now, I took the total profit here and then subtracted 24,000, which is the cost from it, to come up with our total profit in chaos. That ended up being 61.75 divines, bringing us to a profit per hour of over 12. Now, how is that possible compared to the others? It's because of this three. It took me roughly oops, three minutes to run this when I first started doing it before I optimized my strategy. There's only three phases in that whole fight that you can't skip, and they're pretty short. So once I got it down and figured out how to phase and skip a bunch of the balls, the fight got very quick. To the point that I was fine with selling carries. I even sold roughly 10 carries throughout the course of this for a divine apiece, but once again, we're not including that. But it's just something to keep in mind that if you wanted to do something like this, you could make extra money doing carries. It's relatively safe because of the waiting area before the fight. Pretty cool stuff. Now, just for the sake of argument, I went ahead and threw together what it would look like if you met the average for just Sublime Visions and Watcher's Eyes. That's ignoring all the rest of this stuff. If you just ran this 100 times and got the average expected number of Watcher's Eyes and Sublime Visions you would make over 15 divines an hour just on these two drops if you manage to match this 35% and this 4%. That's not being optimistic. That's just facts. That's just data. That's just what these percentages are. If you were to do this at three minutes a run and get these, you would make over 15 divines an hour without selling carries, without looking at any other drops. It's a very good run. It felt good the whole time. Even whenever I wasn't getting sublimes for over 60 runs, I still felt like I was making money and felt like I was improving at the fight. This happened to go much faster than all the other ones for me. It just felt good. I just had a really good time doing this one. The Shaper one got to me about halfway through. I just didn't want to do it anymore and just cranked it out so I could get the video out. This one, from start to finish, I'm even thinking about doing more of these because I had such a good time with it. So take from that what you will. Lots of interesting stuff in this fight. I might do a boss guide on this one just because it's got so much room for optimization. So let me know if you guys want to see that down below. And I think that's pretty much all I've got for you guys at this time. So thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.